Hello, everybody. We Rabbit here, and welcome back to our LP of Persona 3 Portable. In the previous part, we did quite a few things, with the highlight being that we talked to Elizabeth, and we went with a date. We went on a date with her around the mall. Elizabeth's a funny person, so she's never le left the velvet room. She's curious about everything, and she's a big weirdo, so that was fun. Uh, mm -hmm. This time around, though, we're going to continue with the story, and as I said, we're five days away from something big happening, so we're just kind of killing time until then, just building our relationships and whatnot. Uh, as always, Terrific is here. Say hello, Terrific. Yo, what is going on, YouTube? I am still here and kicking it. What are you kicking? Um, my baby. Oh, God. Jeez. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look, man, you got to raise them tough. That's true. That's true. You got to build them up. Yeah, man. The more you kick them, the more calluses that form on them. So they literally have thicker skin growing up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. So she is not here. Interestingly enough, though, you think, oh, that means we can't go out. False. We can go to the command room. And here she is, just chilling. So what we're going to cool. do is we're actually going to go to the Velvet. I mean, the Velvet. We're actually going to go back to Tartarus so that we can get those two items for uh, Elizabeth, actually. Let's see if we level mm -hmm. up just a little bit more. Uh, I think where we're yeah. at, we should be fine, but just in case. So we're going to do that. So let's jump over to uh, Mitsuru. She says, what's the matter? And let's see, let's go to Tartarus. Very well, we'll meet at Tartarus around midnight. Don't be late. Let, let the others know. Yes, yeah, so our mission is to get a beetle shell and that sword that starts with the J. And we want to okay. get both of those so we can then give them to Elizabeth. And like I said, if we can, level up a little bit as well. So, you know. All right. So I think we should be ready. So let's go up to the... F mm. Let's start the 10th. That way there's like six floors to explore. Just about. So we're going to jump up here. We're going to go over here. All right, perfect. And yeah, we're just going to fight our way up to the top. Once we reach the top, go back down, you know, rinse and repeat. We're trying to get mm -hmm. that J sword and we're trying to get a beetle shell. So we'll see how long that takes. Okay. I just noticed the sword he has looks huge. Did you notice the sword he has? Yeah, yeah no, I've just seen it. So like, it, that's the whole Claymore, man. I was gonna say if you've ever um, if you're familiar with that series Berserk, it reminds me of Guts' sword where it's just like a big old piece of metal. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh come here. God dang it. Come here. Ah, so we should get the beetle stuff in this guy, hopefully. Nice. Uh, did we get a beetle shell? Yes, we got the beetle shell. So that's my item already. So now we just gotta nice. kill some time, just running around and hoping we get the uh, J sword, whatever that one is. Ah, uh, so this is gonna be a lot of probably just uh, you know battles where it's gonna put them on uh, rush mode. Not really focus too much on them. I was gonna say, is there anything you wanted to like talk about? Anything that you know new that, you, that you've been up to that might be worth talking about? Or like, what do you think? Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, I'm currently taking uh, a Physics 2 class, and it's been, I mean, not, I guess not really kicking my butt. It's just, I, I haven't, like, I, I'm back to being inconsistent with, uh, with uploading again because of it. Because I, you know, I'm focusing on doing school stuff, and uh, I just have less time to work on episodes. It, it makes me sad. But, I should be done because it's an eight week course, so oh, not too bad. I should be done uh, in April, so not too bad. So yeah, that's, just, that's just been kicking your ass a little bit. Yeah. It's I just been you. rough. I got you, I got you. Um what was I gonna tell you? Yeah, it sucks when sometimes you wanna do stuff like, you know, you wanna um You wanna upload, you wanna like get stuff on your channel but there's like a lot of work and it just takes some time and it's just like uh you know yeah yeah like, i don't want to do more content on my channel like different content like the uh you know more of those retrospectives and stuff but it's just kind of hard yeah. because oh there, i just got it i just got the j sword <laughs> oh, nice 
Well, uh, I mean, that's pretty easy. Oh, I changed my outfit, as you can tell. See, it's the winter clothes. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. How much do we have till we level up again? Let's see. 242? We might try to gain one level. You know, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, but yeah, like I said, yeah, it just sucks. Cause yeah, I've been wanting to do like retrospectives and other stuff on my channel, but some of those take way longer to edit because you have to do like research mm -hmm. and edit. And even though I have a few yeah. ideas, I just nothing that I've like, like researched yet. Cause I would need to research, edit, put it together, you know, and I haven't done that yet. And so it yeah. sucks because there's these projects I want to do, but I just haven't really gotten to them yet because yeah, same thing, busy with work or just personal stuff. Um, yeah, man, I've, been lucky, I've been lucky that these, you know, these these still take some editing, the LPs. But at least, like you said, you know, it's sitting down and playing it, it's like the biggest part. The and putting it together, Who's not that it doesn't take work, but, you know, it's not like I said, like doing research and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it just kind of sucks. But I've been wanting to do other stuff too, and just like, nah, hasn't really worked out. Um, yeah, I feel for you, because I saw that like, you. Upload Zelda like a month ago, and then I think you did <laughs> upload like a, a couple of your like Pokemon videos, and then yeah, like, that's been yeah. it. Yeah, like I've been trying to do what I can. Um, it just sucks because. <laughs> yeah, I, you, you get it. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this stuff just comes out, right. it's in the way, etc. It's annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I was some people have said they either like, they dedicate themselves to doing like YouTube full time or whatever because you know if you really want to make it work you'd have to just do just that I guess. I mean yeah you gotta you gotta be grinding you know. Yeah. But oh well. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, are you excited for anything coming up in the future anytime soon? Well. Honestly, I don't I don't think so. I mean other than the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Not not really. Uh for me I'm excited for the Resident Evil remake. Uh-huh. Because I played the demo, it was really good. I'm really excited, I'm actually pretty excited for that game. Um and then I'm also excited for uh really soon the Mario movie. I actually really want to see that. Yeah. Because from what I've seen of all these previous, the Mario movie actually looks surprisingly good. Like, I'm staying cautious and optimistic. I'm actually pretty excited for that. And that comes out, like, in, like, I don't know, like, a couple weeks, honestly, I think. I mean, so I'm, I'm excited for the Mario movie. I'm excited for, um, re, uh, you know, RE4 Remake, which I think comes out, like, at the end of the month. Oh, nice. Um, I think it, hold on, there's the way, there we go. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I'm excited for. Oh, I'm excited for, although that's, that is farther out. That's like a few months. I'm excited to finally play the new Zelda. Yeah, I know, right? See, I was gonna say that, but uh, I was thinking in my head like, no, you mean something pretty close, and I don't think that's anywhere close, so. <laughs> I mean, we are already like end of March, so March, April, May, it's only two months away. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not that bad. But you're right, there's stuff that's closer, obviously, but that's not that far, yeah, yeah. actually. Like, it's crazy how far, how fast time flies, honestly. Mm -hmm. I really hope Zelda, I don't know if you caught the podcast where me and Legend and I were talking about it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't doubt it's going to be a good game. Like, Nintendo, they don't really make bad games, so to speak, right? Like, yeah. there's a certain overall quality to them, whatever. But I just hope it lives up to the hype, because people have been so excited to see more, especially because they... Breath of the Wild was like a good blueprint, so it's like, okay, what can you guys do to expand on it? And I think a lot of people have been excited for, to see, you know, what, 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 you know, they can do. And I really mm -hmm. hope they don't let us down. Like, I really hope they add, like, some really good game mechanics and some good actual story. Because you know how this one seems like it really might re rely on, like, lore and stuff? Yeah. And it's like, okay, if it's going to rely on lore, Three then give us some good lore. Don't just lose hanging or, like, kind of like the first one. But the first one wasn't bad. I mean, it did have a lot of lore, but you kind of have to discover for yourself, I guess. Yeah. But it looks like there's supposed to be, like, a lot of more straightforward, like, you know, what's up with the whole body they find in that basement? And, like, how does this tie into, like, the existing war that we know about? And 
why is it supposedly tying to Skyward Sword? Because one of the producers or whatever, he said, oh, we can't mm -hmm. even, like, reveal the name of this game because it's going to, like, sp there's going to be spoilers or whatever. Yeah, but, like, I don't know if you ever caught that. Uh, no. Yeah, it was really weird. Before um, Skyward Sword, when Skyward Sword was about to come out, uh -huh. um, you know, obviously, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, it got it got announced first. But around the time that Skyward Sword was gonna come out, that they announced it, they're like, yeah, yeah, we can't like reveal the name of the new game until everyone's played uh, Skyward Sword because there might be like some spoilers to it. Oh. And so that piked a lot of people's interest where it's like, okay, how are they connected? Because you know how you've noticed there's like a lot of like weird sky stuff if you've seen like the previews. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I got a lot of people wondering, like, how are they connected? And when the title was revealed, I mean, that I can tell it doesn't, like, ruin anything. Like, there's nothing I can tell. But it makes me curious why they did think it was important, you know? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if it's just, like, some Easter egg type stuff. I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. I just hope the game doesn't disappoint. Like, everyone's expecting it to be really big and, like, really, like, I don't know, take things further and, like... I don't know, may shake up the formula a little bit, the way like the first one shakes up the formula in terms of gameplay. I guess people are hoping it'll shake up the formula in terms of like, I don't wanna like lore and just like the way that the status quo works in the games, I guess. And I oh, hope they really do, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, you know? Because like I've said, the games are never bad. The only game yeah. I would say that I would, I would really call bad of like the Zelda games. Uh, maybe Triforce Heroes is like the only one I would make called bad. Do you remember the one? It was a like 3DS one where you can play with yeah, players. I I remember that. I don't like those types of games. Just, that, that's just me. I just don't find it enjoyable to just fight an endless mob of stuff. So I don't know. I just didn't like it. And only that, but it relied too much on multiplayer, which was weird too. Mm-hmm. Like, Zelda games aren't really meant to be multiplayer. Like, it would be fine if it was kind of like the Four Swords games where you could, like, control everybody. But if I remember, yeah. I think it was that like each person had a different character. Two enemies detected. If I remember, I'm not too sure. I might be misremembering. But yeah, it was kind of awkward where it's like Zelda games don't really do that. They're supposed to be like first player, one player experiences. So the fact that it would be like you and two bots or whatever is awkward. Yeah, I mean. I don't know, man. What? What? Hold on. Oh, I've got to get my words together. So, hold on, uh, repeat that last bit you said again. About how, um... So yeah, just the throws first player experiences. That the, you know, it sucks if they really do rely on bots and stuff. That that's the only game I would kind of call bad out of the Zelda ones. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh... I mean, it's, it's, that's the weird thing about multiplayer is that it can be a double-edged sword. Either you have a game where you almost need multiplayer to make it enjoyable. You know, like, uh, what, what's a good example that that uh, that I can think of? I don't know, do you think of something? One where, where like, multiplayer you can play the makes game. it good? Yeah, where... Or you can play the game, but you're not really using the full features unless you're in multiplayer. Um, I guess like MMOs. Yeah. MMORPGs. If you're playing by yourself, it's fine, but those are kind of meant to be more like, oh, you're running with like a, a, a your own like group or whatever, you know? Yeah. So that's the thing. You can either have it like that or... You can basically uh, <laughs> have just too little, well, no, sorry, too much multiplayer. And then, like you said, it's just not that fun. Yeah, because I don't really like, there's a lot of games that are multiplayer. I don't really enjoy them too much. I usually just tend to play stuff that's single player instead. I'm not much yeah. of a person that, like, oh boy, even when I try something out, like, oh, what's that? Fortnite has like a change to its mechanics, it's a new season. If I'm like, yeah. yeah, I might check it out, but I'm not going to be like, oh, man, I need to get, get like a group of people together or, oh, man, I'm so excited to join a, a team online to play it. It's like, yeah. I'd rather just play alone 
mic off, even if I go like online. Like I don't yeah. feel like dealing with people because like so, I don't I don't like interacting with like all that garbage online. Like yeah, exactly. Um, I guess one example that I don't know for what it's worth, I, I do think that Fallout 76 did multiplayer pretty well. You can play a solo game if you wanted to, but you have the option to easily group up with someone. You can find them on the map, and you can run a game. You can you know play the game with them if you want to. That's fine. I, I feel like that was a good balance because I don't know. Sometimes you know there are situations where oh I'm in a harder area than what I should be in. Let's see yeah. if I can find you know maybe a high level player to help me get through it or whatever. You know basically uh, group up. But for the most part, I don't want to be tied down to having the group just to enjoy the game. Yeah, that's the thing, that's the thing honest, too. I hate yeah, talking num- to people. Yeah, number one, don't really like the whole, um, it's just a lot of garbage online, trying to deal with other people can be like a whole thing. And number two, like you said, yeah, having to rely on other people where it's like, oh, wow, I can't really go online unless I have my team with me. And I can't have my team with me because, you know, such as this person is working, such as such person can't jump on today. like. Like, how yeah. all that stuff is like, really like, crappy, too. Yeah. Like, it's kind of annoying. I have a friend that, um, he really is into Genshin Impact. Yeah. And so he told me I should check it out. Which I had checked it out when it first came out. I thought the game mm-hmm. was fine. It is a pretty big game. It has a lot going on. But he said, yeah. oh, you should check it out. And then maybe we can play online or whatever. And so I said, sure. And so I've been playing it on my own. And I've been having an mm-hmm. alright time on my own. Because, you know, leveling up. And yeah, the game has a lot to offer. It's a pretty big game, whatever. But what's been annoying mm-hmm. is that to really progress, I, I was kind of saying, it would really help to have like a team, right? Someone who like, has more experience than you. So they can help you with, like, you know, get through areas. And it sucks yeah. for like two weeks now supposedly like oh we should like go online and play or whatever and it still hasn't happened yet oh and it's kind of annoying because it's like you're the one who's like trying to get me to get into the game but yet whenever we're supposed to like go online to play together it keeps not happening and like not that i'm not enjoying the game but it's starting to get kind of annoying that like like, yeah i would like to progress i would like to get farther in it which i feel like i kind of need your help with and you're not around Mm -hmm. so like what the hell man (laughs) you know what i mean yeah you're just yeah you're just at a standstill pretty much like, not even a standstill. Like I said, there's a lot to do in the game without him. But it just kind of sucks that, like, I, in order to, like, really what I feel would be, like, progress, yeah. I would like for him to, like, teach me, like, oh, here's some good areas. Here's this. Here's that. And he's not around. So it's like, the hell, man? Yeah. So, like I said, especially um, annoying because he's the one who's like, oh, you should, like, check the game out. It's like, you know, it's great. It's fun. But yet you kind of keep letting me down by, like, not helping me out. It's like, bruh. <laughs> And that's what I mean. I always hate relying on people. I feel like that, that always happens. And whenever I want to do something, like people like, usually like fail me. Where it's like, uh. <laughs> yeah, man, don't trust people. Yeah. From now on, I'm not playing this with you. I'm playing this on myself now. Persona. Yes, exactly. And Good same job. with now Zelda. Even though Zelda was your, on your channel, I'm taking over. It's gonna be on my channel from now on. Okay. <laughs> so anyone Wait, who's where, like, where will I be then? Uh. Easy. You can make appearances if you want. That's up to uh, you. But okay. mostly, it's it's a one man show now. Oh, okay. I, I got you. <laughs> so, anyone listening, if you are watching this on Trific's channel, um, you know the the, the Zelda playthrough. Uh, it's on my channel now. <laughs> like literally, where he left off, we're starting right there. Hmm. Can you imagine just like it just like, like randomly jumps over to my channel starting with like part like 30 or whatever <laughs> yeah and and you don't even upload the other parts for like context at all no no it's just part 30 just like it's my yep. now <laughs> that would be really funny and there's not even logic on either hey everybody we rabbit here welcome back to the zelda uh, lp as you can see last time we were doing the you know whatever trial or whatever uh this mm-hmm. time we're going to continue with the story Nice. And people are like, what? Where did this come from? <laughs> I, you know what? I bet you would have that one person that was like, yeah, I love this. That's cool. He's playing Zelda now? <laughs> like, uh, man, those first 29 episodes were, I bet they were just fluff anyway. And they didn't matter. 
It was all just practice. <laughs> Last one. Yeah, we're almost about to level up. It's just taking forever because some of the enemies we've encountered have unfortunately been pretty weak. See, so it's mm -hmm. only been like three LP and uh, three XP, six XP. We're almost there though. See, so 24 more, and we're gonna get out of nice. here and continue. Nice. I want to get out of here. One enemy. Oh crap. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, I had meant nice. to, um, I had meant to put, uh, yeah, rush and accidentally attack. <laughs> Still worked out, though. Oh my god, 3 XP, dude. Like, they're purposely torturing me. Like, I want to <laughs> move on, and they're like, no, you get 3 XP. Like, that doesn't add up. <laughs> I need more. Look, so you will take your 3 XP and you will like it. There we go. Come on, we need green. Yes, we can double it or whatever. Come on. There we go. 14. Okay, we're so close. Let's see how much more we need. I know like, we're like, really close to leveling up now. Seven. We need seven more. God dang it. Come on. All right. Seven, seven, seven. Where's the exit? Start trying to go towards the exit. Uh, yeah, but we can... Uh... Honestly, I think we wait so much... Honestly, I think this is going to be its own part. Because honestly, we were in here quite a while, just like talking about random stuff as we ran around. Mm -hmm. But yeah, hopefully we can at least finish it off. Give this stuff to Elizabeth. That way all of the requests will be up to date. All right, where is the exit? Did I not see the exit earlier? There it is. I was like, did we never find it earlier? That was Are you weird. all right? Don't push yourself. I feel a little tired. <laughs> How? How are you guys tired? Like, look at their HP. Look at their SP. They haven't wasted anything. How are they tired? <laughs> so weird. Dude, you have them running all around the park. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I, I guess they're, they're tired from like the physical activity, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's understandable. You're kidding me. You know how I need seven? <laughs> yeah. Why? God dang it. <sighs> it's messing with me. It's such a dick. I literally need... Whoa. I literally need needed 7 XP to level up. It's like, no, 6. I mean, the game can't make it too easy. I know. Who's the man? There we go. So this should be it for sure, finally. There we go. So we're level 13 now, finally. God, it took forever. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's just look for the exit. I um, 98 yen. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, we can just use this. That's fine. All right, and let's go give these items to Elizabeth. All right, accept request. You see, we have completed request. That's what she gives us. There's the beetle shell. Surprisingly, I have one from earlier. So we got 12,000 yen from that. That's pretty good. And we got the other one. And uh, it says, ah, until it has beadwork laid in it, that's why it's called the Katana of Evil's Bane. It's a good sized sword, too. Uh, nice. 81.08 centimeters with a 3 centimeter curve, measuring about 3.9 centimeters in width. Damn, she can see oh, all geez. that just from looking at it. Damn. <laughs> Please accept no. your word. Muragi times one. All right. And I think that's it. I don't think there's any more to take for right now. So we're done with that. Perfect. All right. Let's leave. All right, like I said, guys, unfortunately, I think that's where we're going to cut it for now. Kind of sucks that we wasted all our time just running around the dungeon, but it is what it is. Hopefully, at least our conversation keeps you guys entertained, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, next time we jump in, we will be back on the overworld, and we will be back to more, you know, um, daily life stuff. And like I said, we're five days away from something big happening, so we're getting there, you know. But that's it for now. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thank you for being here. Yeah, man, no problem. All right, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.